Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 7 of our new Let's Play. If you want to start from the beginning, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner to episode 1. I highly suggest watching that, and then uh, watching the series with me. I, I give a lot of tutorial tips going through, so if you're new to this game, hopefully you'll learn a few things here. Last episode was pretty crazy. We took Boston, and it was quite the bloodbath, and... Since then, I've really been building up my forces. You can see here that uh, quite a few days have gone by since we captured Boston because nothing really exciting happened, except now we're actually going to do something pretty exciting as we try and catch all of these guys before they run off into the, the nether and, like, already losing a bunch of men due to... What would you call it? Desertion rates. It's pretty crazy. Um, I really think they need to nerf desertion rates when you have provisions. If you don't have provisions, hit me really hard with desertion rates, but we've lost 10 men just trying to brigade our army and just trying to move our army forward. So the free artisans of Massachusetts are giving us some money and then a 10% loyalty or government increase is always good. That improves your... Um, overall taxation. Oh my goodness, can we get our men moving into place? They badly need to integrate a army. <laughs> um, reinforcements, no way. Okay, come on, get, get into a proper position to fight. Okay, here we go. They, they really, I, I hate to start this off on sort of like, I guess you could call it negativity. To me, it's constructive criticism on how to make the game better. They absolutely have to integrate some sort of army management because you just saw an example there of how ridiculous it is to get your forces ready. The The British just kind of like blob up and snowball on the map. You can't do that um, as a player, at least. I, I haven't figured out how to do it. So your guys like spread out, they move weird. You just saw there, but end of a, end of a little mini rant just to start. You guys know I absolutely love this game. Um, my constructive criticism is always to make the game better, and um, I, I definitely... I, in, in every game, you have your things that you love and dislike, and in this game, the, the army management is probably the single worst thing in this entire game, and I, I really hope they, they bring it to the forefront to make it a much better experience for the player. Anyways, this is actually a pretty decent-sized battle, and we have four good units going in and then two of our militia who have the skirmishers and those skirmishers have done a lot of work but this go let's uh, dive right on in and fight this battle okay here we are in the battlefield <laughs> tons of blue arrows moving out um to go along the lines with army management the second um second item that i absolutely would love to have in this game and i think is a very very important and it's been asked about quite a lot, is a deployment zone. Um, they had those in a, a decent amount of scenarios in the American Civil War game. Uh, in this game, there are no deployment zones, and you just kind of deploy in this... It, there's no deployment. It's, it correlates to how you are set up on the, on the map, and as you can... Well, it... You, you saw how moving your army on the map is. Uh, there, there are some people that say, like, they don't they don't think it's a problem whatsoever. I, I think you're absolutely wrong, and I, I hate to tell people they're wrong, but in this case, um, it, it's a problem. It, it really is. But anyways, we're, we're moving our force into a proper line. Hopefully we can get there before the British swarm us. Uh, that tends to be... A thing that happens quite often in this. I also need to make sure they don't just flat out um, charge us. That is something that happens. They, they love to just charge the artillery. Okay. And then over here, something wrong... Something wrong happened. Um, this is this is where that deployment needs to, needs to come into place. Um, as, as our men did not deploy correctly whatsoever. And I need to figure out what is going on ASAP. So you guys need to get out of here. Um, you guys probably need to group up behind 
these cannons. Hold on, let me let me click. Oish. This is so much easier to drag lines in the Civil War game, so I don't really understand uh, what's gone wrong here, but um, it, it's all right. Okay, over here. Let's grab you two and place you in line over here, and then you guys need to fall back. And then this militia needs to move up. These Minutemen need to move up. And then just kind of get our forces where they need to be. So that's that's looking all right. Um, their militia is actually a lot better than ours. Okay, so what's going on over here? Let's grab you two. Have you come out on this flank, help out the militia. Um, that supply wagon needs to pull back just a little. This cannon's in a really awkward position. And then everything else looks like it's going fairly well. Let's just hope that our artillery can do some proper damage to the enemy. Let's move you guys up over here, and then I think I think our line is finally finally looking good. It's it's crazy how how rough it is to position position the army. Um, I I really really do hope that they they work on that that they take the criticism. Um, as it is, it's just something that would make the game a hell of a lot better. And I'm not talking marginally better. There's cries on the Discord all the time to make this, to, to make that portion of the game better, because it is, it's it's bad. Let's just say it as it is. Um, it's to to me, it's the biggest turnoff for the game right now. And as I've said multiple times, I love this game. I think this game has so much potential. It is awesome. I just don't ever want it to be one of those games where uh, it's kind of like Bannerlord or... Um, I harp on Bannerlord way too often. Um, one of those games where you just say like, hey, this game has potential. And, and it's, you know, far into release. That's, that's not something you want to hear or say. Uh, I, I guess, to be fair, that's not... That's not you know, hit Bannerlord some more. Let's hit Game Labs with that. Um, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts is very much a game of potential. And that game has been out for quite some time. And uh, you can watch any any YouTuber of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I have a series. Actually, I have, I have a, sort of like an early access series. Not early access. The game has been out for a while. But they put out a major major update and I did a little series on it and then I did a proper series uh, playing as the Germans and that's uh, I actually have that in my in my YouTube repertoire if that's what you how you want to word it our cannons really move weird uh, I, I that's kind of an understatement let's grab you two and move you up oh boy so difficult to move up the men I just want you guys to... Did you get the fallback order? I don't know if you got the fallback order. Right? I did hit fallback, right? Fallback is F. Okay. There we go. Thought I was going crazy there for a second. Alright, let's see if we can get these skirmishers out of here. I think, uh... Wow, our condition is dreadful. And then can you guys... No, oh, our, our condition's terrible. Okay, stop and shoot, and then move up, and then let's just continue with the pincer attack over here. Uh, I really do like how this scheme looks. Uh, I, I know it's not like groundbreaking graphics or anything, but I, I do like it. And you know, what, one thing obviously this game needs some better optimization. The optimization is definitely not there, but I, I do like games that don't go super crazy on graphics when you have thousands of men on the battlefield. If you watch our Boston battle, I counted it out after the thing. It only uh, the the casualty screen only tells you the infantry regiments that were involved. It doesn't tell you uh, any of the ancillary stuff. So like the three hundred. 300 supply crew or the 50 from your officer 
There were 11,500 men at the Battle of Boston between the two forces. There are 240 Dragoons on the British side. Oh, people surrendered. Lots of people surrendered. That's good to see. Uh, get you out of here. Alright. And there is the mass route. Can we... Uh, couldn't get Gage. Okay. That's fine. Can you guys charge there? Can you guys not shoot? Um, and then not shoot. And then we need to go capture some artillery. That is very important. Uh, the, the more guys you capture on the battlefield, I, at least according to Panda Kraut, um, the more likely you are to get the surrenders on, on the strategic map. And I've started to see that. How are these guys not surrendering? We're going to take friendly fire because of that, which is not good. Okay, we need you guys to charge them. We need you guys to charge them. We need you guys to run up. Um, and then the more, more groups that surrender, the better. So they should surrender pretty easily. Um, over there, I don't know about that routing unit. Although the weird thing about artillery, when it routes, uh, as soon as it comes into contact with us, they they stop... What, what do you call it? They stop routing. It's, it's very odd. But these guys are coming back kind of weird. You come back over here and then... I think that was a pretty successful battle. Yeah, weird. There's a mass route and those guys came back. Okay, I really need you guys to continue moving over here. Hopefully we can... That's kind of weird. Okay, melee them. Feels a, feels a little glitchy still. Uh, okay, I need you guys to surrender. They're not... They, they ran away. Okay, we're not catching them. They dropped their guns. So, there we go. Alright, we lost 465 men. They lost 1,306. I would say that's really good. Even though we outnumbered them by 1,500, uh, they had some pretty beefy units. And they're still British. Um, British redcoats with brown besses. I think... I think most of our Fusiliers have, or no, 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 our, our original regiments have brown besses and some U.S. muskets, I, and then I think the rest of our Fusiliers still have civilian muskets. We're not quite there yet when it's all said and done. So not a shabby start to the episode, at least uh, that's how I how I view it. Taking the Salem is pretty good, and then we'll see how many guys surrender coming off of the map. Now, one of my favorite features that they added is that the the battle, or once you come out of the battle screen, it, it pauses. Now, the downside of that is you can't see where the enemy is. Okay, so let's disband the brigade. And I've been told to, let's see, Columbus, to, to micro the guys individually. And that gives you some really good... Uh, good surrender rates. And so let's bring Quicksilver up. There's some more surrenders. Um, I don't know how those guys are not surrendering. And then keep keep rolling up. And then there we go. I think... Okay. Let's not... Let's just go to Salem. Somebody's not... Not leaving. Not dying. Not surrendering. Very interesting. That's all right. I, I think we've got their general here, too. And maybe that's... Oh, I think we just killed their general. Yep, okay. Wow, usually it's really hard to kill the general, so that's pretty awesome that we got him. Uh, make sure we get all of these loot piles. I, I think they still need to expand the range for capturing all of the loot piles. I think it's still a little, a little too low for my liking. And then I don't know what you are doing over there. Okay. But the AI is a weird thing where if you don't cap the, the city, that it... That they'll continue... Uh, I thought I did hit Salem. Okay, join garrison. Everybody that can join the garrison, go join the garrison. That's what I mean about army army organization. It's, uh, it's quite a mess if you ask me. 
All right, Quicksilver, I need you to leave 2,200 more gold doubloons. Absolutely perfect. They're not actually gold doubloons, but I just want to call them that because at this point in history, it gets really, really muddy when you think about like what, what the currency was. Because technically they would be using like pounds and shilling, like the British currency. But they switch over to continentals and... I don't know how long Continentals last for, but it's not backed by anything, so uh, I mean it's pretty bad inflation. Alright, let's, uh, let's have you guys move out over here, see what we can do over here. I, I'm always worried about this kind of stuff, but I think that was a, a pretty good start, and then it's, um, we'll, we'll regroup and push on to Portsmouth. I, I would love to grab Portsmouth. Also, figure I should probably show you a couple things that I did. so. In Bo oh oh man, I for totally forgot about this. Boston has absolutely horrible loyalty, so we need to send men back. So that send um no, let's not actually do that. Let's send you guys to to Boston. We need the loyalty to go up before we can leave it at zero. That is a major mistake on my part. I need to keep that in mind. But for Boston, we're we're building up a schoolhouse, carpenter shop, Middleborough. Well, we were building something. What did we build? Weaver's house, carpenter shop. Probably build up. I would like a stable, and then maybe a schoolhouse, and then probably like a blacksmith's house or something like that. So let's go. Let's go stable. And the stable is we we eventually need a boatload of horses, and. This finally has enough wagons. Holy cow. That took forever for that to have enough wagons. Um, where do I want it to go? Let's go to Hatfield. Kind of move it up. All right, something navy perfect. So dry dock. Um, I oh mean, I don't really know. These 28 guns, I think it's the, the Cerberus. Uh, it's only 195 men. Maybe it's not that one. I there, There's some... Some ships I would really like, um, but I think maybe we go down here, and then I, I would really like 40 gun ships. So let's go Navy Innovation 2, then to frigates, and then we'll see if we can put 12 pounders on those frigates. I also spent, uh, I was really short on officers when we were recouping, so I did spend like 12, 12 of my reputation on uh, low ranking officers. So now our low ranking officers looks a little bit better, it's stabilized. It was really bad for after the Battle of Boston. We lost we lost a bunch of men, as to be expected. Benedict Arnold is just, you know, um, not thinking about joining the British. He's just watching the British from afar. Definitely not thinking about joining them. Oh, crap. What's over here? Okay. Uh, 18 and 28 gun. Oh, is this a... Can I see how many men is on that? 195... So that's not as good as the 600? That's 600 men on that? Interesting. Cerberus class Corvette, Cerberus class Corvette. I would actually like to capture this if possible, because that is a lot of men that it can put on that ship. I didn't think that these ships could actually have this many crew. Like, there's two, 252. 210. Is that right? I, I don't know. On second thought, I don't really want the 28 gun ship. I'm just going to let this auto resolve and do some rep grinding because our rep is quite low and I, I think that is a, a better use of this battle. So you, you, we already got one point from that rep. So I, I think that is the way to go over here. Hopefully um, we didn't screw up in Boston over here. We need that loyalty to go up. I should actually probably build a printing press now I think about it. Just, for, uh, I don't really want to build a printing press. What's our loyalty change? Schoolhouse, attribution. Okay, we're going to have to build a printing press for the time being. That's not going to be a long-term thing there. We're losing a lot of men in these forts, which is a bummer. I don't get why. We have plenty of, plenty of provisions, supply... So I'm not really sure why. Maybe I need to boost up... What is it? Reputation, project cost, minus 5, perception, endurance. 
What is this? Bounty. Um, if the bounty is low, then recruits are not willing to join your army. What about this? Desertion. The seller level is lower than expected. Desertion rate rises. So, so units morale is at negative 8%. I wonder... Oh, that's too much. Okay. Let's do positive 8%. Maybe that'll affect desertion rates a little bit um, more in pos positively. I, I didn't even think about that until right then for some reason. So that's what we're doing. Uh, 32 reps. That's good. Doesn't look like we took much damage. I didn't see if we destroyed both of their ships, but I don't see anything out here. So that's just kind of peruse the the seafront let's actually look at sea mode um so we actually are doing really good there i wonder if we could move on into move on into this area here and see if we can start securing that and then if we can really like start pushing out that would be great so let's do that for the time being we're out of civilian muskets i'm assuming and then you guys are out of brown besses um, so we're starting to replace with U.S. muskets, and then we can do one more. So that should free up brown besses over here, and then, yeah, that's that's looking a little bit better. I don't know. I'd really like to pump out more muskets, but we just don't have the facilities to do so. Um, I really need more mining also in New York. I, I've said that last episode, I believe. Um, I'd also really like to take Fort St. John's in Burlington, and I think we could do it. Fort Frederick, Fort St. John's is level two. Um, we'd be attacking with militia is the downside there. I'd feel really good if we had one regular up there. I'd also feel really good if this made its way up in that direction and can you go up to Fort Ticonderoga that would make me feel really good okay interesting enough I moved my fleet out over here and we've actually well they're now moving away oh there we go we're actually doing a lot of damage to the 68 gun ship and 30 gun ship we've taken a decent chunk of damage ourselves but if we can defeat this 30 gun ship and then go in against a 68 gun ship that is really low I will take that battle. So that auto resolve, interestingly, is going very much in our favor. Those guys I moved out. Um, Portsmouth is getting a little bit large for my liking. But yeah, over here, we're doing we're doing pretty good in that exchange. And then I realized I, I didn't hit apply when I was editing a unit earlier. So I actually have more more guns than I thought. So we can solve some of our musket problems here. Most of our brown besses are, are in use, but we can start almost equipping an entire regiment with United States. Actually, I think the entire regiment can be equipped with United States muskets. So that's, that's per, oh no. Uh, other, yeah, there we go. That's weird that it didn't show that over there. So let's hit apply and that is perfect so we'll we'll have a big push those muskets will filter down to those guys over here um so we're down to just the 68 gun ship if we can get that 68 gun ship down to half that cerberus class corvette like has as many men as well not as many men but very very close uh it's 150 off which it's not that close in the grand scheme of things, but I think maybe we could get something going over here. I, I would just like to push that 68 gun ship down a little bit more than it currently is. Yeah, like, that to half would be fantastic. So let's get these guys moving out over here. Benedict Arnold is, uh, you know, holding that theater of war. A new day, I just want to take a look at what is going on on this new day so we're pumping out u.s muskets we're pumping out we have a bunch of civilian muskets that just became available because we outfitted a new unit colony ma management we still have new york and then quebec will probably never have new hampshire is 
Portsmouth and Lyman. Interesting. I think we just have to take Portsmouth for it to count being under our control because, for example, Massachusetts Bay, we're missing seven of them, which I don't... Uh, maybe my geography is really bad. That's not all part of Massachusetts, is it? Maybe I'm really crazy on what is considered New England, but I, I thought... Man, I, I thought like some of those were not in not in Massachusetts itself um, but I, I could be very wrong or the, the geography of that time uh, uh, you know map lines not the actual geography uh, could be quite different our government structure is really low of course taxation level really isn't in the game yet but let's uh let's continue he got away I really want one more engagement with him that would be perfect is that okay that is hms leverett we are we're ah oh man he is so close to to going down i feel like oh no 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 boston's not man that's actually really messing me up okay let's uh let's take one of you out of boston the other guys who just took like nine casualties walking from leicester to Salem, which is absolutely ludicrous. Alright guys, we're going to have to let this auto-resolve play out, because the auto-resolve should actually kill the 6 gunship, but in the actual battle, it basically one-shots 30-gun, or 30-gun ships, which is, you know, pretty accurate. <laughs> really, only a third rate should be able to take on a third rate. Uh, maybe a fourth rate, like a, a proper Razid. So once upon a time it was a third rate and it got Razi down to down to a fourth rate. Now I do need to be careful. As soon as that battle is over, um, they'll they'll disengage once. So there's the first disengage. And then I need to get out of there because there's actually a bunch of enemy fleets about and um, so that's that's really important. So I will probably be pausing very, very shortly. There we uh did we take it out? I don't... No, no, no. We're still in battle with it. Okay. Um, over here, we need to join an army, and we need to move out like so. As I said, once that ship is down, which we just killed it, we need to probably... Can I get back to New Haven? Getting back to New Haven would be fantastic. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Um, that ship is just in the way... I wonder, I wonder if what kind of ship it is, but man, if we could get back to New Haven, that would be, that would be perfect. Looks like that ship's not engaging us, which is perfect, and then we can actually move out to Portsmouth, where, oh man, what is it? It's a 28-gun ship. I'm just going to let the auto-resolve do it. We're nearly losing a ship at this point, which is pretty crazy. Um, ah, oh man, yeah, that, that's pretty rough. Looking at this, uh, we might actually lose a ship in that auto resolve, but I feel like we've done a lot, and I'm kind of over the fleet stuff at this point. Uh, it, I'm just so bad at the actual fleet engagements; it's not even funny. I, d I don't even know, like, what to properly think about this. So, um, let's take. I actually want this this fleet engagement to go by. So we'll do a little skirmishing over here, and then we'll um, we'll see what happens over here. Hopefully we can get out of that. Um, if I start this battle, my my one of my ships sinks immediately. That's how beat up it is. Um, so it looks like we're actually going to win this. And then I want our fleet to immediately move away, and then we'll come back. No, 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 no. I, you have an order to go to New Haven. So get out of there. I think they got out. So let's take this battle. And this should be... I think it should be easy. Uh, they have three... Art, or they only have two artillery. So we must have beat up those two units pretty badly. We have five artillery. And we're nearly at full strength. Pretty close to full strength. This is all from desertion, which is kind of crazy. Maybe a little bit of skirmishing back and forth. All right. On the battlefield, as usual, no deployment zones. So we have to move our guys into crazy positions and get our cannons into proper positions um 
if I sound like I'm beating a dead horse about the deployment zones, I just think it's that important for the game to implement them into the game. Um, I, I think they will be a very, very important for the future health stability of this game. In order for it to get good Steam reviews, which um, some people say, like, why does why does that matter? I, it it matters a lot. It really does. Um, I think I think we should actually move this artillery up a little and do this a little bit differently because I think they are. Well, I don't think anymore. They are definitely moving toward this flank pretty hard. So let's get these troops moving out. Let's have you guys move out over here. And then we do have two regiments behind our cannons to stop any charge rushing by the enemy. Let's have this supply over here. Quicksilver, you're going to be needed over here pretty badly. And actually... Um, that's interesting. I screwed up. Okay. I will be the first to admit that I have just screwed up on this front. So let's, uh, let's try and fix this screw up. I didn't think they were moving out that direction. Obviously, as you can see, they have moved out in that direction, and I need to quickly adjust on the fly, so we're taking... A couple casualties I didn't really want to take. And let's uh, move back, please. That was not good. Let's have you guys run. Okay, that was... That was close. But I, I think... I think we are... What did I just do? Come on. I need you to move maybe about there. Alright, so that's not how I want this to go on that flank. And then I think over here what I need to do is maybe retreat a little. And let's, let's do that. Let's have all of you fall back a little. Um, because they're definitely hitting that flank more, more than I thought they would. That is for sure. So let's, let's grab one of you. Okay, reform right here. Have you guys reform like so. Yeah, they are pushing this flank hard, and I don't have a lot of artillery over there. So that's something I'm going to have to think about. Um, they're also pushing skirmishers out over there, which is not great, but it'll, it'll be fine for the time being. Yeah, they are really pushing out on this flank. So, we need to find a weak spot and crush it. And yeah, they keep keep moving out on the flanks. I like that the AI thinks about flanking. I do wish they kind of would form a, a nice proper line at times. I, I do, do sort of miss that about the Civil War. I feel like the Civil War game did that a little bit better. Let's move you guys up. Uh, great, a officer has been wounded. So, always, always a big bummer over there. Um, how are we doing over here? Man, they are, they are really, really trying to push, push the flank. And I think, I think what we need to do is maybe move. No. We do need to move this artillery. Maybe if we can move this artillery like so. And then we'll form a we'll form a new line. That's actually my plan here. So we'll grab you three, and you'll be the new center over here. And then these guys will form a new line. Can't draw it where I want it to. There we go. That's where I want it to be. And then you guys will form up behind them. Retreat, 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 retreat. Okay. That kind of worked. Pull 
back a little. And then reform the line. No, yeah, okay, whatever. That's fine. Get the cannons up. Move you guys up a little. That hole can be filled over here. I feel like we need you guys to move over here. I feel like we need you guys to move over here. No. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, goodness. I can't believe this feature from American Civil War came back. It was gone for the longest time in this game, and now it's it's full force awfulness. Um, and what I'm talking about is the units crisscrossing. Um, you should be able to move multiple units at once without fear of stupidity, and that's just not the case. What is... okay. They're, they're badly beat up. I need to replace some of them. I need to replace you. And then you guys fall back, fall back. Okay. Can you guys combine? And then over here we need to refuse this flank. That is the plan over here. Alright. Here, you need to fall back, you need to fall back, you need to go here, you need to go here, All right, you two, you're now friends, and then you two, you're also friends, over here, how's it going? Um, still not a great line, this is a little problematic, you guys need to become friends. Yeah, the enemy is doing a great job of avoiding... Okay, how are you rear flanked? You shouldn't be rear flanked when um, when you're on a retreat order. That flank is really problematic because they're really pushing pushing out really far. And I need to give it a little bit more concentration than I am. They're like perma-routing, that's not good. I think they're militia. Okay, I think... Oof. Yeah, we... We're getting a little beat up in certain areas. Let's have you guys move over here. Um, they keep pushing out on the flanks, which is just not, not good for me because my cannons aren't out on the flanks. So, need you guys to move up over here. Let's have you guys move up to there. You fall back and you fall back. All right. Um, so the center doesn't look like we, we have anything that matters. And then you guys become friends. Alright, that flank looking a little bit better. Still not great, but it's fine over here. We are doing some counter battery fire, which isn't the best. And then out over here, I think things are starting to stabilize just a little. Uh, pretty chaotic battle. You can zoom out a little bit. What are these guys doing? Where are they fleeing to? Don't lead the enemy, you stupid sods. Okay, not really sure what they're doing over there, but it's uh, not not a good idea, whatever it is. Um, Herbert has shattered poor presidential candidate. Right? Well, not a candidate. He was a president. Okay, please hit them. Can you guys actually hit the skirmishers? That would be fantastic. Why... No, don't bring this feature into this game. It, I, it didn't do that in the last playthrough. And uh, it's no bueno. No bueno whatsoever. Okay, this battle is starting to stabilize. This is a pretty bloody battle, to be honest. Pretty bloody battle. Um, but I think 
Can you guys shoot the closest target? No, 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 don't move. Okay, they're, they're routing for good. Where'd our... What are you guys doing? Can you just route the correct direction? They're continuing to push further and further out on my flank. Over here, they're actually kind of in range of our artillery moving. Oh, man. Nope, 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 nope. There's some nasties out there. Okay, need you guys to... Reform the line. Um, somebody else surrendered. Grab you. Oof, those, those skirmishers are really really taking it to us right now we we need a okay there's there's the victory on the global map all right perfect we need to go take out that artillery and then there's more artillery out over there that needs to be taken out and you guys need to come back you guys need to come back you guys need to stop shooting um, you guys need to stop shooting, stop shooting, everybody stop shooting. Okay, come on, keep moving up, because their artillery will take us out. Need you guys to charge in. You have tons of condition too, so I don't understand why, why you couldn't complete that charge. There's a captured artillery. I don't know what your guys' condition is like, but please, please, like, double quick march, whatever you need to do. I know, like, charging them that far is probably a bad idea because it drains our condition, but it tells them where to go. Some of them have great condition, um, because they won't run with low condition either, so it's the same thing as just running or not. Why are these guys coming back? That's uh, very buggy when it does that, when they come back. Come on, melee. Like, you guys should be routing forever. Alright, I'm going to speed through this and cut this out. Okay, interesting battle. We did take 915 losses. Pretty pretty rough there, to be honest. Um, we only had about a 500 man, not even really 500 man, like 400 and... 40 man advantage uh so you know two to one kill ratio not too bad it would be so much better if we could just deploy our forces correctly <laughs> it would be it would make things so much better okay so battles paused i always recommend um looking at what's going on so anytime a battle ends currently your troops will lose their orders so this unit's like going back into this bay area it needs to get the heck out of dodge and go to new haven um, because I believe there's like a 48 gun ship in here. We cannot take anything on. Look how they're so damaged. It is, it is absolutely crazy. Um, over here, we're going to micro some attacking move. Just move Quicksilver up and move the supply wagon up a little. Salem has really terrible. We need a kit. Where, where are you guys? Uh, leave brigade and you need to go back to Salem. Just move. Okay. We didn't we didn't capture enough guys. That's fine. Just let them run away. I was hoping for more surrenders, but uh, we don't have any cap, so that, that always ruins that. Once we take Portsmouth, that'll probably be it for this episode. Um, I'm not quite sure what the time is because there's a lot of... Uh, bluff on my OBS right now when it comes to the actual timing. So there we go. Captured Portsmouth. That is awesome. Let's take a look at what our production management is. So 14 of 15 should be able to fix that up. So we have, do we have 10 six pound field guns in storage? We can probably slow that down quite substantially. We can probably slow that down substantially and then we can kind of like pump everything 
you know, it, getting getting all of that would just be perfectly fine. So, yeah, there's all those ships over there now. Um, financial, what is this? Falmouth needs help. Burning of Falmouth was an outrage exceeding in barbarity and cruelty. More than 400 buildings and houses are recorded as damaged and destroyed by fire. The people are left to fend for themselves for the winter in a town left with no lodging, eating, or housekeeping. The town of Falmouth formed a committee to raise funds for the distressed families. Financial support to meet their needs. Support with food and cloth. Or minus 20 in Massachusetts Bay. I think uh, let's support them with food and cloth. We have plenty of provisions and textiles. I don't have an extra 5,000 gold doubloons. That is for sure over here. So Salem, Boston, their, their loyalty is going back up. Portsmouth, the, your loyalty was already awesome. And then you have 1.4 construction points. So not, not great, not bad. Let's do a carpenter shop. Uh, that'll be a good investment right now. So I think that is kind of where we sit at the moment. Middleborough's building out. All of you guys are built out. Fort Montgomery is doing a good job. Kingston, Hatfield. Um, this could actually start building something in a moment. It'll probably be a schoolhouse by the looks of it. Yeah, schoolhouse, good for those officers, and then all of those forts, they don't really have ever anything. Here we go! It's no longer gold doubloons, continental currency printed. The Continental Congress authorizes the printing of continental currency, a form of paper money issued to finance the Revolutionary War effort. Unfortunately, it wasn't backed by anything, so uh, it was rather useless or worthless, but don't tell Congress that. That is going to be it for today's episode. You can see the snow is coming on in, so winter is coming. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz. It greatly helps out the channel. I absolutely love reading your guys' comments. I love all the history you guys provide. Um, this is not my strong suit in American history. I know like a couple ins and outs of the American Revolutionary War, but it's definitely not my strong suit by any stretch of the imagination. So I always, always, always appreciate your comments, especially when they provide some historical content context. I also just love comments that say like, hey, or thank you, or um, love the content, or, you know, if there's something that you would like to see in the game, you know, it's, it's always cool to see those, see what you're, what the community wants the game to do. Obviously it needs to be within reason. They're not going to completely overhaul the game, but, uh, you know. My, my one is the army organization, which I understand that's actually a big thing uh, to overhaul, but I feel like it's very necessary. So that is it for today's episode. We will see you on Monday. As always, guys, until next time.